One of the critical questions that we face in this era is how do we build resilience in an uncertain future with uncertain climate? So building resilience really needs to be a key part of decision making and management on any environment, right? Any landscape, if that's turf or food production, right? And so when I'm talking about building resilience, it means we have a system that has a buffer and can bounce back when there has been a water deficit or there has been too much water or when we have extreme temperature fluctuations or events such as frost. How do we deal with reducing plant stress? And that all starts in that engine room beneath the ground, right? We're looking at how do we build this structure that allows air and water movement I don't know if you've ever been inside a straw bale house or like a cob house and you'll notice those houses are very cool in summer and very warm in winter. Part of that is a temperature lag and that's what we're trying to create in healthy soil is that you, because you have all that porosity and that airflow happening in that soil that that actually has a buffer against these extreme um, temperature events. So look at this image, you can see how the particles are being stuck together by fungi and bacteria. There's a layer of water through all of that. We're building organic matter. And this is really what holds the key to how do we continue to grow and stay green even under extreme stress. So when we build more and more biological activity into a soil, we are gonna see more production of the humified type materials. So our organic matter, um, that lovely humus structure that will stain your fingers. We'll see more microbial biomass in that. We see temperatures being significantly buffered against extremes. So instead of maybe you have a cloud that comes over in the middle of the day and the temperature might drop in that soil and then the sun comes out again and the temperature spikes. When we have adequate organic matter and biology, those temperatures become very stable. So what that does effectively, it reduces stress in those, um, in those plant roots, right? So what we also find is we'll have soils that are warmer early in spring and cooler later in winter. So effectively we can increase our growing periods by just reducing these stresses in terms of temperature. So grab yourself a temperature thermometer. Um, I have some that I've just grabbed at like local stores, like grocery stores, and you'll find as long as you've got at least you know, a three to four inch probe on that temperature you, meter, you can stick that down in the ground and take a look and see how different is that temperature in areas that I'm managing well, what's the difference of temperature under a fence line or compare it to an area that hasn't been managed very well at all. And you'll see there's big temperature differences.